Today we will discuss synchronize, reload latest, relinquish and show history tools in Revit. First of all, I welcome all my friends on my educational channel. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest videos. Like and share also. Synchronize with Central, Reload Latest and Relinquish tools are available in Collaborate tab, Synchronize panel. These tools are disabled in single user standalone file and are available in multiple user file because the purpose of these tools is transfer working from local file to central file and bring changes of other users in your local model with the help of central model. Relinquish the ownership of model elements for another user so that other users can work on those elements. That's why these three features are available in multi-user file central model. Show history tool is also available in collaborate tab manage models panel. This tool is available in single user and multiple user files. Its purpose to show the history of model. Let's see these tools in details. Reload latest loads updates from the central model to your local model of the project. As you work, you can see changes that other team members have made to the project after they have saved to the central model. You can load updates from the central model without publishing your changes to the central model. This is a one way process and it's usually accomplished pretty quickly. Save to central updates the central file with all the changes you have made since you last save to central operation. There are four operations that take place when you use this command. 1. Save the local copy of your file. Number 2. Save your changes to the central file. Number 3. Reloads all the changes that have taken place since your last reload latest or save to central operation. Number 4. Saves your local file with all the updated changes. May you find accessing file message on your screen while synchronizing local file to central file. The purpose of this message is that the central model is busy in synchronizing with other users local model and not available for synchronizing with your local model. You can stop this current operation by selecting cancel button or you can wait until central model finish synchronizing with other user local file and automatically connect with your local model and will start synchronizing. There is drop down button among synchronize with central. It carries some settings. Let's see this information. In the synchronize with central dialog, verify the location of the central model. If necessary, click browse to specify a different path for the central model. Specify the new path in the central file location dialog and click OK. Select compact central model to reduce file size when saving. Under after synchronizing, relinquish the following work set and elements. Select from the following options. To make your change to work sets and elements available to other users, select the appropriate checkboxes. To synchronize the changes to central but keep the work sets and element editable, clear the appropriate checkboxes. By selecting relinquish all mine, you leave all work sets 
and elements for other users. If desired, enter a comment that is saved to the central model. You can see all comments using the show history tool. We select this tool and select project in show history browser. Open the project. The first column is date timestamp. It shows when this project is saved or synchronized after changing. Modify by shows the username of this operation who update this project. And if there is any comments by users, it will show in the last column. You can export this history file. Let's see it. The export file format is Notepad. Verify that save local file before and after synchronizing with Central is selected to ensure your local file remains synchronized with Central. It's over today synchronizing, reload latest, relinquish and show history tool topic. I hope you understand it. For more educational videos, keep watching BIM Talks.